Okay, we're here at the Our Lady of Fatima Family Center, part of Catholic Charities, here at 66 in Lexington, right across from League Park on the east side. And they're doing a uh, Thanksgiving turkey giveaway today. We got a volunteer crew here today, and there's a there's an interesting uh, connection with this group, which I'll tell you about in a second. Let's see some of the workers what they're up to. Pat in the Family Center here, uh, right across from League Park, 66 in Lexington here, and we're speaking with Lejean Ray, who's the director of this Pat in the Family Center. Lejean, what's going on today? So we're getting ready for our, our regular monthly pantry program, but this month we're fortunate enough to receive turkeys from the retired basketball players, and so we're going to provide 200 bags for people in the community who need food for Thanksgiving. And we provided most of the st uh, stuffing to go with it. So we're packing and getting ready to, to distribute at about 11.30. So what's the connection with the retired basketball players? So they have been uh, a partner of us with us. So they're coming in doing some mentoring with our teams. They're supporting our uh, uh, pantry program this month. And we look at opportunities going forward where we can work together. Well, I know you're real busy now and have to get back to work, but if people want to find out more about the center and your activities here, where, where can they go? So they can go to the Catholic Charities website, look us up, all the information about our programs is there, and they're free to contact us if they need to. All right. Director Jean Ray from the Fatima Family Center. Thanks, and so let's Thank get back you. to work. Thank, Thank you. you. So Director Ray told us about the connection with retired basketball players. This is how we actually learned about it with our friend Emmanuel Leakes here. First, Emmanuel, you got to tell the people your quick story here about pro basketball. I mean, you're a, a legend, you're a pioneer. Right. I'm, I'm from, from Cleveland, Ohio. I went to the Cleveland Public Schools, and I was All-American at East High School. And it all started at Empire Junior High School, though. And, uh, but uh, I also went to Niagara University, and uh, I'm a master level social worker, but I'm involved now with the National Basketball Retired Players Association Cleveland chapter. And we're involved in uplifting our youth and uh, getting involved and reaching out into the community and uh, Fatima's uh, community centers an opportunity for us to reach out to the community and provide some food in, in kind of a desert area, but this is a good thing for us to do to reach out to the families and to help feed the families during this Thanksgiving holiday, and we're honored. Uh, Jim Jones is the president of the National Basketball Retired Players Association Cleveland chapter, and I'm the vice president. So we have our crew out here and we're really happy and we're psyched up about supporting the families and wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Well, you know, I, I got to think that the, the kids, especially the guys, when they see a guy like, how tall are you first? I'm six foot eight. Six foot eight. Yes. And you've got the, the chops of having played professional ball. They but I like to go against seven footers. <laughs> 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 Will Chamberlain, you hear that, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You got J.A. and Evan, you got a challenge here from one of the guys. But uh, I'm sure the kids got to really respect that, you know, you could be doing other things and you got former NBA and ABA players here and all. It's, uh, it's someone they're, they're going to remember. Yes, I'm really inspired by a lot of the young people that I work with. Even uh, like Lawrence Boston, who's with our organization now, he's about 10 years younger, but he followed me and he said I helped to motivate him. And I hear that from a lot of you, so I'm, I'm so proud of anything that I can contribute to help our young people develop. So after each tie in Niagara, what was your path with hoops? Um, I, I, after East High in Niagara, uh, I ended up playing professionally in the ABA. And I played in the ABA for four years. And then I went to the Rucker Tournament in Harlem, New York. Played with Dr. J. Oh, uh, I, when he, that was his debut season. I played with him. And that was my way to get in the NBA. So I ended up playing in the NBA with the Philadelphia 
76ers and the Washington Bullets. I ended my career with the Washington Bullets, with Elvin Hayes and Wes Sunset and Phil Chenier, all those guys. But I had a, a great opportunity to play against some truly talented players. I mean, those are just classic names. Wes Unsell was one of my favorites. You know, with oh, the yeah. Bullets. Of course, Dr. J, you can't even see. Well, so as you started with the, uh, the red, white, and blue ball, and yes. ended up with the rest. Any, uh, I mean, the, the modern game is just with the three pointers and all, and the big men. I mean, you get Evan Mobley, seven foot shooting three pointers and all. Right, different right. Game. No one's got their back to the basket. From, from a perspective of my experience in understanding how the game evolves, um, the ABA invented the three point play, but we understood that the two point play and uh, foul and getting that third point is just as important. And I like to see them penetrate and drive a little more and be more creative. And I like to see uh, better defense. They have their hands down and uh, they think they're playing defense, but it's not really good. And they're not rotating. So those guys that are hitting those three-point jumpers from the corner, nobody's on them. They're not rotating. So I'm not trying to criticize, but I'm trying to teach. And uh, I think if the Cavaliers, they're playing really good defense right now and winning all those games, if they get their hands up on defense, along with uh, playing that good help defense that this new coach has in playing, they're doing a good job. They can go all the way. Well, man, you know, we could talk basketball with you forever, and I hope we, we do it in our time. You've got a lot of work here. I see all the bags being loaded up with right. turkeys. It's a great thing for the community. You and your other uh, retired professional basketball players at Cleveland Chapter. So thanks for doing this, and we'll talk to you soon. My pleasure, and thanks for interviewing me. Another volunteer here at the family, Fatima Family Center here is the legend, the legendary Campy Russell. You know, everyone knows Campy. Great career in the NBA, and we had some other former yep. ABA and NBA players. So first of all, Campy, why are you here? Well, I think it's real simple. You know, uh, when you live in a community, uh, you need to be a part of that community. You need to be able to get out and reach out to that community and be more engaged in the community. I grew up that way. My mom and dad them always talked to us about wherever you go, wherever you live, impact that area. And what I mean by impact is get involved. So for me, being a part of Panama's uh, Thanksgiving uh, giveaway, hey, this is some of the best things that have ever happened to me that will continue to happen to me if I continue to give back. So to me, it's about giving back. You know, uh, I didn't know about the retired pro players organization and especially the Cleveland chapter, I met Emmanuel, he told about Jim Jones and all, and I was just thinking that broken foot and how things would have been different. But uh, you gotta love the current cast. Oh, with no question So about deep, that. so one through 13, right? Well, no question, you know, this is a, um, a beautiful team. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use that word, a beautiful basketball team. The reason why I say it's a beautiful basketball team is because they are engaged in each other. They're not engaged as individuals. And Coach Atkinson has done a good job of putting in a system that will allow everybody to be engaged. So when you're in that type of system and you feel good about one another and you're connected on, on the outside of basketball as well as the inside of basketball and you're connected you know, as a group, that spells success. And that's why this Cavalier team has gotten so much success. And to me, this is one of the better basketball teams that in, in Cavalier history. Yes, there was the Mark Price era, there was my era, there was LeBron era, but here, it's their time now. They are stepping up big time, and that's why I feel real good about this basketball team. I got to think at a place, at a community center like this, when they see a guy like you and some of the other NBA players, now it's got to add a little level of, you know, you don't have to be here. You get, you know, you're, you're successful and famous and all that, and you come back to the neighborhood, helping the people in need and all. It's got to really make an impression on them. Well, to me, I, I think most people know me that's from this area, and they know I live in the community uh, and around here as well. Uh, they know that no matter where I live, I've always been back in this community because, again, that's how I came up. That's how I was brought up. So for me, it's never looking down on anybody. It's never it's taking the compliment. Whatever compliment they're going to give me, I'll take that compliment. And for me, the biggest compliment I can give is to show up and do, do the work. And I don't have a problem with showing up. 
and I won't have any problems with doing the work as well. Well, that's there. We got Campy Russell here, and he he showed up, and now he's going back to work. So thanks all for right. all you do, Campy, Thank you. and go Cavs. Yeah, no doubt, go Cavaliers. Uh, it just keeps getting better here at the uh, Fatima Family Center in '66 in Lexington. We're, we've got another legend here. We've got Greg Bell, and, and Greg, tell us where you played. Well, I, I'm a I, I'm a product of East Cleveland Shaw High School. I'm a proud product of East Cleveland Shaw High School. But um, I'm a former Hall of Globe Charter, you know, blessed to just have a great career. But, you know, when the communities, surrounding communities, I mean, I'm growing up in the hub. I mean, grew up around all the greater Cleveland, playing yeah. basketball on the blacktop courts. And we want to give back. So as a, as a member of the National Basketball Retired Players Association of Cleveland Chapter, we the Huff community today, and not only that, with uh, Dennis Hobson in Toledo, we, we donated turkeys in his community, so he hats off to the Toledo community that's being fed. And Stan Kimbrough, who's in Cincinnati, who's also a chapter member, we're feeding them as well. So we're, not, we're spreading it out, and we wish we could do more, but those families that's going to be fed this week, this, this Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. God bless, and I hope we can continue to just continue this initiative. It's one of our initiatives to continue to touch the community as best way we can. You know, I just get it. One of the, uh, I guess, the philosophies of the Harlem Globe Brothers is kind of to bring this joy that hoops and sports and teamwork and all can bring and this is kind of carried over you know your work your work with the globe trotters your playing days and now back to the community it's still bringing that kind of you know because globe trotters obviously are special you know exactly so it's pretty much yeah it's a, it's a family show so you know as you as you play you stay active and traveling around the world and just really representing the u.s in, in, in just uh, every facet of countries and continents you can name um, but when you become a former Harlem Globe Trot, it never stops. You want to continue to see kids smile. You want to continue to touch families, and, and you want to be able to give back to the community in so many different ways, monetarily or voluntarily. I know you're going to be tempted when those frozen turkeys come in to start spinning them around and doing some of those routines, but it's great to have a Harlem Globe Trotter here working at the Fatima Family Center, getting a servant of the community for Thanksgiving. So great, and we'll let you get back to work. Thank you. Thank you. God bless everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. We're back here at the uh, Fatima Family Center at 66 in Lexington, across from Historic League Park here. We're talking with Lieutenant Colonel Oren Williams, Sr. Lieutenant Colonel, what's going on? Why are you here today? Well, part of our mission is to build citizens of character with the students at East Tech High School. Myself and Sergeant, uh, Master Sergeant Daniels, we're here to, uh, uh, one of our missions is service before self. We're here to give community service to the community residents that live around this area. We're part of East Tech High School. So I see you got U.S. Air Force. That's right, I'm retired Air Force. Okay. Myself and Sergeant Daniels, and that's part of our uh, duties here. And when did you serve? Well, I served from uh, 85 to 2009, and I retired. Then I got this job at... Uh, as JRTC instructor, as Air Force, a junior, off, junior reserve officer training corps. You know, it, it seems like over the years there's ebbs and flows with uh, interest in the military and ROTC. And you, this, are you seeing the young people interested in service? Yes, they are. Some of them are, but that's not our mission. Our mission, again, we're not a recruiting service. Okay. Our mission is, again, to develop citizens of character. Okay, to give them ideas that we believe in, serve so, so self and take first, and the next lesson all we do. So we still that in the cadets, and they, again, become better citizens of America. So you'll bring some of your kids to an event like this to help the community by packing up uh, exactly. bags and Thanksgiving. And they get community service. I obviously need that to graduate from high school anyway. So we get that community service aspect. We get uh, that for that. And it comes when, when they see someone like you, you know, a, a military career and, and kids from the neighborhood and all, it's got to be a boost to the, to the community seeing other exactly. people Exactly. We, we do have influence. Yeah. We do have influence with these kids, you know, but rarely like maybe 1% actually join the military once they graduate. But we give them the tools when they join the military, when they go get a job or go to college, we give them the tools to succeed in life after they graduate. What if people want to find out more about the uh, ROTC program at East Tech? Oh, they have a website. Okay. Actually, JRTC have a website, and it tells about the different schools that participate with, with JRTC activities. 
All right, we'll, we'll make sure we put a link to that. We're, we're here with Lieutenant Colonel Retired Oren Williams Sr. Working hard, feeding the community for Thanksgiving, you and your crew. Thank it's, all, it's all about the kids, though. Thank you. Thank you. Motivation check. Hoorah! Motivation check. Hoorah! 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 Are you motivated? Motivated, 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 sir! Are you dedicated? Dedicated, 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 sir! How motivated are you? Motivated, motivated, downright dedicated. You can check us out, you can check us out. What? Double it up. What, what? Triple it up. What, what, what? Quadruple it up. What, 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 what? Now let it all hang out. Ah! Who just arrived? And I'm gonna let you tell him about him himself. You know, we, we travel the world together as well, and then now it's former trotters and, and been brothers and friends for life. All I know is I'm feeling really short That's right it. now. So we, got, no we got the man himself, Derek Polk here. Seven. How, How you, you doing? doing? I'm doing well. How you doing? What brings you down to Fatima today? Well, you know, part of the NBA retired players and legends and the Highland Globetrotters, it's our way of giving back to, to, uh, to the community because we've all been so blessed to be able to play the game of basketball, travel around the world, and meet many people. So to give back to the community where we grew up is just a blessing. So what are you doing now? Now I, uh, I run my own nonprofit called Derek Folk Basketball. Okay. They're folk sports. It's AAU, it's speaking engagements, it's mentoring, it's all that. And uh, also I'm assistant coach at uh, Bryan and Stratton College basketball, so I'm continuing to teach young men and women about the game of basketball, but also about life, and dealing with life's ups and downs. I got to think, uh, when you come in to mentor someone, they see you with your size and your pedigree and your history and all, they got to listen maybe a little more than they would generally if someone coming in. Yeah, I would agree to a certain extent, but sometimes today's youth, they have to listen because they're strong-minded and they think they have a better way, but then when it don't work out, our way is better because we've been around for a long time and have a lot of experience and want to share all our experience that we have with them. But yes, it, it, it helps to be seven feet and have some background behind you because they, sometimes they tend to listen a little bit more. You know, uh, in the modern NBA, seven-footer is not really that rare. And Cavs have Evan Mobley and J.A. But when you were playing, it's pretty rare. There weren't a whole lot of you. Oh, there's quite a few. But you know what? This, a lot of teams don't use us like they used to. We're dinosaurs now. I'm a firm believer in the game of basketball, but I'm a firm believer that you got to have somebody on the block that you can throw the ball to to have an inside presence that opens up the outside. So today's basketball is outside, then maybe inside. When I grew up, it was inside and outside. It's much more physical and allowed a little bit more uh, hand checking and everything. Did you play with your back to the basket? Yes. See, I love that. I mean, that, to me, that's a classic basketball. Well, here's the thing. I was a different type of seven footer because I played on the block, but I could step out and hit that 18 to 20 footer easily. So who are some of the people that you played against or just... Uh, I mean, the Cavs, all the old, older Cavs, like Mark Price, the Campy Russell, Craig Campy, uh, Larry Nance, uh, Charles Oakley, Brad Sellers. I mean, it goes on and on. A lot of people don't realize Cleveland has a wealth of talent that's played in the NBA, that's played overseas, that's been on TV and stuff like that. And me playing at Ohio State, being on TV, is just great. 
So if people want to find out more about your camp and your what you're doing and all, is there a website or something they can go yeah, it's to? It's called DerekPokesports.com. DerekPokesports.com. All right, I'll let you get back to work because I know you're here helping the community today, but uh, great to see you, and I know who you're rooting for in the football game tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know that. Go Bucks. Right. Thank you and be blessed. All right, thank you. We got Lawrence Boston here. He's working hard too, unloading trucks for turkeys all here at the Panama Center. Lawrence, why are you down here? Uh, today is a, a beautiful day to help the community. Uh, you know, without God, too. There you go, brothers. Showing outside. Yeah, us out here. Uh, without God, this would be possible. And uh, our Cleveland chapter of the NBA is putting in helping uh, with these turkey giveaways today. Just a beautiful day, and the weather is good, so we're going to have a blessed day today. This is one of those things where I see the, the former players, you and Campy and Derek and all, actually doing the work. You're not just here to look good. You're here, I see you loading the trucks, unloading, packing bags and all. You're really doing stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my body's going to pay for it later on tonight. <laughs> I'll be using Tylenol and uh, so forth. So. Just like after a game. Yes, sir. But it's worth it. It's, uh, it's worth it. Uh, helping the community and uh, making sure people have a great Thanksgiving. All right. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks for doing this. Okay. You're welcome. And you guys aren't just here to look good, you guys are working, man. You always do. 